Sea Dogs, Jakar, game two of the quarterfinals, and Kevin Gagne with the first goal of the game, jumping into the play and throwing a wrist shot on net just 248 into the first period. Sea Dogs had just come off a great penalty kill in which they had more chances than Bay Kamal. Dogs quickly make it 2 0, but no! Philippe Cataret robs Charlie Coyle of a sure goal. Everybody in the building thought this was 2 0, but the young goaltender celebrating his 17th birthday, diving to his right. That might be the save of the year. The Dogs do go up 2 0, however. A little stick work by Huberto in the right wing circle. He gets back to the point for Beaulieu and Coyle and Roussel all over it. It's Charles Roussel who ends up shoveling the backhander into the net. More of the same in the second period. Stanislav Galiev unloads the rifle from the left wing circle. Thomas Yurko actually gets a tip on this. And then he does it again on this Charles Roussel point shot. Two quick goals on tip-ins by Yurko early in the second. The slick Slovakian tipping them home and it's 4-0. Sea Dogs made it 5-0 on the power play. Again, Roussel unloading this time. It was Jonathan Huberto tipping it home at 6.20 of the second. Galiev did finally get a goal of his own, taking the pass from Charlie Coyle on the wing and roofing it past Cataret. He wants to hear that fan noise. 6 nothing Sea Dogs at this point. Bacamo does get on the board, however. The Jakar keep the puck in the zone. And it's Jonathan Lassard breaking the goose egg. The former Acadie Bathurst Teton beats Corbet to take away the shutout bid. We got a 6-1 game. But the Sea Dogs came right back town. This time it was Zach Phillips nabbing his third goal of the series. Nice little tic-tac-toe play with Coyle and Roussel. Phillips there to finish with the game 7-1. The Sea Dogs fans having a little fun with the Bay Camo contingent in attendance. Adopting the Bay Camo boat row against the Jakar for Sea Dogs goals. Good healthy uh, fun here between the two sets of fans. About a section full of Bay Camo fans. And the Sea Dogs fans loving it. Rowing that boat all the way back to Bay Camo. The fights break out. It's Samuel Noro tangling with Grant West. And Grant West, one solid shot, another one on the way down. Noro squirming around. He wanted another piece of West and was calling to go again. On the very next faceoff, three seconds later, it's Ian Sab this time with Gabriel Verpass. One punch knocks him down. And this really got the St. John fans going. Saab is pumped, returning to the lineup. Gets the extra 10 for a little bit of showmanship there. But he's happy to be back. Then Matthew Corbet creates a little bit of excitement here. The bouncing puck gets away, but a huge glove save as the overage netminder recovers. 7-1 heading into the third period, but it was more Sea Dogs. Watch Charlie Coyle on this play. Just shoving one man down. Another one comes out of position to hit him, which opens things up for Zach Phillips. He roofs it, beating Jimmy Appleby, who took over from Cataret in the second. Unreal night for this line. Phillips ends up with five points, tying the team record. Charlie Coyle, it's his first playoff game. He didn't score, but he ends up with four assists. Bacomo does pick up another one on a goal by David Rose from the left wing circle. One of the bright spots for the Drakkar, leading the team in scoring so far in the playoffs. But the Sea Dogs come right back down. This time it's Galley of scoring his second of the game. Another roof job over the glove of Appleby. On a two-on-one with Phillips. That's the five points for Phillips, tying that team record. One more on the night as Gauthier finished out the summary. Danik Gauthier gets the Sea Dogs into double digits. Assists going to Stephen McCauley and Aiden Kelly there in the final minute. And the Dogs celebrating a 2-0 lead in the President's Cup quarterfinal. Off to Bay Camo for games 3, 4, and 5. For more information, visit www.stjohnseadogs.com. Nathan White here for Sea Dogs TV, joined by Zach Phillips. Third star of the Game 2 win over the Bay Camo Jakar tonight. And uh, third star with five points. Geez, a lot, a lot of talent going around, Zach. What's, uh, what's clicking for you guys so far this series? Um, no, I think our line's been playing really well. Me, uh, Chuck, and, uh, and Galley have really clicked. And um, you know, we've been trying to play hard and, and play well. And we put up some, uh, some good numbers. And that's just the, uh, you know, the balance of everyone. You know, defensemen like Roos chipping in with four points. Uh, I think Joe had a couple. Um, so you know, it's just I think it's our, our balance of our team and our depth that's really, that's really making us win a lot. Some guys talking about needing to have a better first period in this game, and it, it certainly seemed like uh, you did that. Did you guys do anything different to come out strong in the first? No, I think it's just we got more comfortable with the team. We don't get to play them very often, so I think yesterday after like a 9- or 10-day break, we were just kind of feeling them out a little bit at first, but um, you know, tonight we knew what to expect, and we came out a lot harder, I think. Looked like things got a little chippy at times out there. I mean, is this a case of two teams not liking each other? What's, what's the intensity level like down on the ice? Uh, it's getting pretty pretty big you know anytime you're in a series with a team you have to play them at least four times um you know there's guys on the other team that end up uh you know making you a little mad or getting under your skin and uh, i think that's their kind of their game plan is to get under our top player's skin so uh we're gonna try not to let that happen and just play our game so two wins a uh, good start but you guys know you're only halfway there uh, how do you keep focus going into their building now for three games on the road i realize it's going to be a lot harder there the rank's smaller um 
you know, it's, it's their fans, uh, you know, their home rink. They know uh, all the bounces and stuff like that. So we know it's going to be a lot tougher game there. So um, we're just going to know that they're going to be at least as good as they were this weekend and, uh, you know, come, know we have to come ready to play. Okay, well, thanks a lot. Zach Phillips, third star tonight in a game two win over the Baker Modra car. And I'm joined by Charles Roussel, first star tonight in a 10-2 win over the Baker Modra car here in game two. And uh, Charles, things happening for you offensively, uh, but obviously defense, a big part of your game is one of the top defensemen here. How'd you feel about your game tonight? Oh, I feel, I feel good. I mean, uh, most importantly is uh, to get the win. I mean, uh, it's so easy to make points with those kind of, those forwards, and uh, I just try to keep it simple, bring pucks to the net, just try to good, uh, do a good first pass, and points are going to get and uh, are going to come, and uh, I'm just happy we won. A couple of similar plays with you throwing a point shot that gets deflected. I mean, is that something you guys work on, or is that just uh, you know the skill of some of those forwards, or a little bit of both? Yeah, we've worked on that. Obviously, we have the big uh, Charlie Coil in front of the net. It's so easy. He's winning every battles in front uh, over there. So, uh, and just uh, giving it to Zach or Joe or Nate. I mean, it's it's my job is easy. There's a they they do the, the nice plays. So I mean, once again, once I like I said before, I mean uh, we're happy we're we're we won this game and we're looking forward to the next game. Looks like it's getting pretty physical out there, a little chippy. I mean, how do you guys approach that? How do you try to handle that when the when that kind of stuff happens? Well, uh, guys showed up. I mean, uh, we got to give a lot of credit to Westy and Sabi. I mean, they they try to play tough, and uh, I think they realize that uh, we we can play tough too. I mean, uh, like I said, a lot of credit to those two to those two guys. They showed up for the team. They stepped up, and uh, great job by them. Okay, thanks a lot, Charles. First start tonight in the game two win. The Sea Dogs lead the series two nothing. Heading into three games on the road in Bakemo.